Hello, everybody. Ben here from Happy Hannon Studios, coming at you live from the studio. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Brew City Presents Spring Fever. This was on April 19th at Waukesha Elks Lodge number 400 in uh, Milwaukee, Waukesha. Um, so, first time ever at a Brew City event. Uh, so I want to break down these matches one at a time. Uh, match number one was for the Brew City Wrestling World Heavyweight title. Uh, marvelous. Ethan Matthews, champion. I've seen Mr. Matthews at many different federations uh, for a very long time now. He's both a good and a bad guy. Here he was a face. Versus Drake Daniels, playing the role of the heel. Uh, Drake Daniels I've seen a little bit as well. Uh, nothing really stood out in the match. It was a good match. Good, Clear heel, clear face. You know, kind of your cookie cutter of a match. No surprise winner, uh, uh, Marvelous Ethan Matthews. Um, did not see Drake Daniels taking the title away from him. Uh, gave the match a 7 out of 10. Match number 2 was scheduled to be Baxter Belafonte with Story Denali. Uh, neither of them have I ever seen before, so that was a new experience for me. Versus Jack Sirius, uh, who I've also never seen before. Skinny little bugger. Um, however, Baxter was injured at the last show. Um, now I'm not sure if it was injured or injured. Um, so he was replaced by Aesop the Whale Mitchell. Um, I talked about Aesop in a previous video, uh, with some, an issue I did have with how he treated a fan. Um, uh, however, the match itself, uh, now I will give Aesop a huge credit. That boy can shout insults with the best of the heel. He is a talker, talker, talker. Now, I've seen this guy, too, since my WPW days back in 2016. I have a video of him versus uh, Sadist. Um, or no, him versus, not Sadist, another guy, I can't think of his name. Um, I, however, I remember when he used to be the Distinguished Gentleman, I'm pretty sure. Uh, now he calls himself the Whale. Um, Jack did pull off the upset victory uh, due to miscommunication between Story, who didn't really seem to want to be out there with Aesop versus, um, so, uh, you know, maybe, it, it, I, I don't know, uh, the, so maybe my, my grade's a little bit based off of the after match activities, uh, 5 out of 10. Uh, there's going to be a rematch at the next Brew City event between those two. Match number three, Fatal 4-Way for the Heritage Championship. Uh, Apex athlete CJ Cole, first time I've ever seen him, super duper impressive. Versus Yeti Henderson, first time I've ever seen him. He's a funny, funny fella. Versus the Spectre, uh, Jaden Mercer. I have seen Jaden many times, many federations, uh, one of my favorites. Versus Nick Colucci, which of course, anytime I see Nick Colucci, I fondly remember the days of the Mad Dog Club. I know a lot of you would be thinking, no, I remember him fondly when he was tag team partner with uh, Hornswoggle. Not me. Uh, a Mad Dog Club. Winner was CJ Cole. Uh, did hold on to the title that he had. Um, uh, match was entertaining. Uh, chaotic. Of course, the thing about when you're at a live show, uh, you know, if the action's going on somewhere else, you, you, you can't see it. Um, but what I could see was impressive. Nick Colucci off the top rope. A man his size should not be leaping through the air like that. Um, but again, CJ Cole did win. I gave the match an 8 out of 10. Very entertaining match. Um, yeah. Match number 4, Evil Steppas, Dysfunction, and Big Steppa Armando Alvarez versus Whiskey Bent and Hellbound. Uh, Whiskey Bent and Hellbound did win the match. Um, dysfunction, uh, of course, a veteran in the industry. Um, Big Step uh, Armando Alvarez, I have never seen before. Half of Whiskey Bent, I didn't know. Half of them, I did know. Um, so I gave the match a 6 out of 10. Um, it wasn't bad. Just it was, it was just a match. Match number 5, Elks Lodge 400 Championship. Uh, Demented Chucky Bates, uh, who I have never seen wrestle live, versus the Real Brock Hall. I love Brock Hall, one of the best heels around. He just lives the heel role. Um, I didn't know what to expect from Chucky. I guess I was thinking something like skits, um, and it wasn't. Here's one thing I did have, and I know, it's silly, but the referee let Chucky get away with stuff, but then when Brock tried to get away, he stopped Brock. So I know Chucky was the good guy, but he, used to be, he did some things that probably were bad guy-ish. Um, so, but the ref let him get away with it. So that was kind of like, huh, referee. 
Oh, uh, Chucky won the match. Gave the match a seven out of ten. Uh, just some things you didn't you don't see in many matches. Uh, a, a nipple twisting. A nipple twisting went on during the match. Match number six, uh, the Unholy One, Sean Priest uh, versus the One Man Riot Squad Gunner W I X X or Wix, whatever you want to say. Um, Sean Priest, again, I've seen him in a several different roles. Uh, this one, I kind of, it, it was as if you took Papa Shango and Kamala and they had a baby. Sean Priest's character is that. All he needed to do is start uh, patting his belly and, and he'd be uh, Kamala. Uh, uh, Sean Priest won with some shenanigans from his uh, manager, JP, and a kendo stick. Uh, I gave the match a 7 out of 10. Uh, Sean Priest is uh, ridiculously strong. Um, so, no, good match. Good match. Uh, last match of the night uh, was for the Brew City Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Guilty by association, bad guy group led by JP. Uh, it was Salem Crane and then Tyler, I think, uh, versus Brothers of Funstruction. Uh, first time I have ever seen them. You're going to hear their name a lot in follow-up videos. Um, winner and new champs were the brothers of Funstruction. They are hilarious. I love them very much. Uh, now, I know one of the brothers I've seen play a different role, cowboy-ish role. Uh, he is much better as a clown. Uh, I gave the match a 10 out of 10. Uh, it just it was funny it was uh, moves you don't see other places uh, it, it was uh, it was amazing it was amazing so yeah that was my night um, I will say one thing uh, just kind of close out this video uh, the, that this is listed as a family show now I am not a prude by any means but there were some things that maybe kept it from being as family friendly as I would like uh, I just wouldn't bring my kids to this one um, because there were some things I don't think maybe are completely family friendly. So, And I'm not going to go any deeper into it. Uh, if you have questions, of course, you can ask. Um, so that is it. Now, I did add up everything. Uh, when you get look at these grades, the, 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 match, or the night got a 7.14 out of 10. Uh, was my was my grade so um i probably go back to brew city again maybe um so uh yeah i guess that's all you can ask for uh the only thing is i would uh, eat dinner before i came that's all so 7.14 out of 10 uh for brew city presents spring fever uh april 19th at waukesha elks lodge number 400 Hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, like, share, subscribe. Uh, please comment uh, if you disagree, agree, or other. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, uh, we'll have two more uh, videos about this night, uh, the match of the night, and the most impressive performers of the night. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great day. Keep happy, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night.